सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल माई नेम इज महेश एंड यू आर वॉचिंग ड्रॉ विथ एम एस इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल ऑल्सो यू कैन शेयर इथ विथ युअर फ्रेंड्स ऑल्सो यू कैन फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम यू कैन क्लियर युअर डाउट्स देअर सो लेट्स बिगीन विथ द वीडियो सो फर्स्ट वील मार्क द साइड्स सच एज बक्कल पैलेटल मिजियल एंड डिस्टल ऑन ऑल द फोर साइड्स ऑफ द ब्लॉक and after this we'll start with the crown for this we'll mark 7.5 cm on all the four sides so after this we'll start with the occlusal surface the occlusal surface of the maxillary first molar is uh, rhomboidal shape so for making this rhomboidal shape we will start removing the wax from the two opposite corners as shown in the figure so you can see here that the shape of the rhomboid is formed after this we will do the marking for the cusp so divide the surface as shown in the figure so after this we will make the slopes on the mesial and the distal corners do the same as shown in the figure so after this we will start making the triangular fossas draw triangles on the either side of the central lines on the slopes and start removing the wax from that triangles you will see that the triangular fossas will be formed so after this we will start with the first cusp so we will make the c shaped curvature as shown here in the figure So after this we will start with the buckle groove make the groove as shown here in the figure make it deeper such that a V shaped notch is formed on the buckle side So after this we will make the central groove again after this with the help of the cotton we will make the cusp tip smooth and rounded for this we have to apply a uh, much pressure on the tips so you can see here that after applying a lot of pressure it is becoming the smooth so after this we will make the crown a little tapering towards the cervical line as shown in the figure so remove the wax So after this we will make a small notch on the mesiopalatal cusp So here our crown is ready and we will start with the root For this mark 1.3 cm square on all the four sides of the block and do the marking of the root on the palatal side and mark the central lines on the mesial and distal sides and start removing the wax remove the wax from the central lines of the mesial and the distal sides till the markings of the root on the palatal side as shown here in the figure so after this we will start with the mesial and the distal sides so do the marking for the forcation so here we are going to make a tunnel so we'll rotate the carver in such a way that a tunnel will be easily formed 
so you can see here I am rotating the carver so you can see here that the tunnel is formed so I will make a little bit proper hole So after this we will start with the buckle side. The buckle side has two roots. So for that we will make a small line and start removing the wax from the center. Here also we will make a tunnel and we will join the two tunnels. So you can see here that I have joined the two tunnels. So after that we will remove the wax from the cervical region, the extra wax. Make all the sharp edges smooth with the back of the carver. Give the proper shape of root. So after this we will make the root surface smooth with the cotton and for this you will have to hold the tooth with the crown so that it will not break. Hold it tightly as I am holding here and you can apply a little bit pressure but only on the crown side. So you can roll the cotton in this way and you can remove the wax between the roots so after this we will start making the cervical line it is almost straight Remove a little bit wax below the cervical line and make it smooth. So we can see here our tooth is ready. We can make out all the surfaces, the roots. So thank you everyone for watching this video, do like the video and share it with your friends. Subscribe to this channel for upcoming videos.